and we are back. And on this episode, what will we be showcasing? Well, if you recognize the area already, then you're steps ahead because we are going to be exploring the NW8 postcode, which is St. John's Wood, and the W9 postcode, which is Maida Vale. Now, these are two sort of areas which are both residential as well. So let's kick it off with Maida Vale. So there is no way we can be in W9 and not mention the Little Venice. So you've got the Grand Union and the Regent's Canal which join here and you also have the Rembrandt Gardens just to chill out as well. Now some of the properties overlook the canal are from a Regency period and these are terraced properties with white stucco fronted exteriors that have stood the testament of time since the 19th century. So in Little Venice, head over to Clifton Road where you can find all your local cafes, your grocers and your local shops as well. And in the area, you have a special Raoul's Deli and Cafe. And this is a really, really lovely cafe that has been serving the Little Venice community, attracting both locals and visitors for over 30 years. If you want to come here, then you only need to take the Bakerloo line, which will drop you right over to Warwick Avenue Station, and that will connect you to Oxford Circus in under 18 minutes. So the BBC Maidavelle Studios can be found on Delaware Road, and they hold seven music and radio drama studios. So head over to Maidavelle Station and Elgin Avenue because you can find a parade of small local shops. Now Elgin Avenue and in between Sutherland Avenue have some beautiful red brick mansion buildings and these are very hard to come by in London. They're purpose built and they're super spacious with the layout as well. So think twice before you pass up on an opportunity to snap one of these up. However, if you still want to live in the area because you like the charm of Maida Vale, but you want something that's a bit more homely, then of course you can head over to Bidoff Road or even uh, Ashworth Road as well. And you can find some there as well. So if you're into fitness, then you are going to love Paddington Recreational Ground. In especially if you're into track and field and football because this is known as the locals as Paddington Rec. You can either walk your dogs, chill out on the grass or just simply enjoy the greenery. And so for education in the local area we have picked three local schools. So to start off with we've got St Joseph's Primary School which is situated on Lanark Road. So this school has recently received a good inspection rating from Ofsted. And secondly, on Lanark Road as well, you have the secondary school, which is St. George's. And this also has a sixth form and was recently awarded an outstanding inspection from Ofsted. And then finally, which is only five minutes walk away, you have St. Gustin's, which is another secondary school. And this is also has a sixth form and also received an outstanding inspection rating from Ofsted. This episode is sponsored by The Property Purchaser, which is a central tool to help you make an informed decision when purchasing a property. So let's just give you some stats for the W9 postcode, which covers Maida Vale. So in this area, there are a total of 109 streets and there are 1,200 and more houses and over 17,000 flats and apartments. Now in the last 12 months, we've had over 153 sales and the average household income here is over £109,000. So the average pound per square feet in this area stands at £1,023 and that brings the average property price to £798,000 and more. So the total value of all of the properties in W9 combined stands at a whopping £14 billion and of course the most expensive street in W9 is where we're stood on right now and that is Randolph Road and that the average property price here is £4.7 million. So 
So now we've seen Maidaville and Little Venice and are you ready to head over to St. John's Wood? Well, before we get there, I've got a little development opportunity to show you, which sits right on the border of both St. John's Wood and Maidaville. And this is a penthouse in a modern building. I've said enough, I'm gonna take you off the street, up to the penthouse, so let's go. Step right into this development opportunity, which is going to be undertaken by Embass Land. So, if you're not familiar with them, check out our South Kensington video because we covered one of their one bedrooms and that will give you a taste of what they offer. So, this is the first bedroom, which is north east facing. So, again, this is going to benefit from some really good sunshine. It's really, really spacious. You could also have this as the principal bedroom if you wish has its own ensuite, and of course it has its own private balcony as well, which is always a luxury to have. But now let's head on to the second bedroom. So this is on the southwest and west facing orientation. Again, really good for afternoon and evening light. It's a really spacious bedroom. It's got its own ensuite as well. And then you've also got your private terrace. So that's another added aspect to it. I don't know how many properties in this area have multiple balconies, but this is definitely one of the very few and it's a penthouse as well, just remember that. Follow me through. So you've got your guest bathroom, so this is here. This is really straightforward for your third bedroom or for your guests that are gonna come over as well. Bedroom number three, again on the west and southwest facing orientation. And obviously you benefit from the natural light, it's got good storage area and there's even an extra space if you want to add a home office just because of the configuration of the room. But now let's head into the reception room. Open plan and spacious. The amount of space in here for open plan reception room is amazing. Remember, this is a penthouse on the top floor in Maidaville in St. John's Wood in a new building which is very scarce and hard to come by. So this is ticking a lot of boxes before construction has even started. Now, this developer is obviously going to make this look fantastic and depending on when you get in touch with them, because it's likely when this video is available, this is going to be under construction, but you may be able to have a few tweaks yourself. So if you're interested, make sure you get in touch as urgently as possible. And I'm sure you probably noticed just behind me, you can see through these windows, is the terrace. This is the third outdoor space and it is large. As you can see, you've got southwest and west facing. So really, once you've either come home or you've finished your work at home, Listen, have your friends over, have your family over, sit outside in the summer and just enjoy the beautiful sunsets that you're gonna be able to enjoy here. And now we're gonna to head to St. John's Wood and show you the area. Let's go. So let's begin with the famous Lord's Cricket Ground, which is known as the home of cricket. Chances are you've already been here because this venue holds a capacity of 30,000. And seen as we're on the subject of world famous, there is no way you haven't heard of Abbey Road, home to the famous Abbey Road Studios. And these are a world class recording studios where we've seen many recognisable musicians record here. So as for green spaces, we'll head to the southern end of St John's Wood High Street for the small St John's Wood Church Gardens. And if you're looking for the big parks, well right on your doorstep, like just here is Regent's Park and then you also have the Primrose Hill as well. Now we'll be covering these two in their whole other episode, so make sure you stay tuned. And now let's show you the rest of St John's Wood. So St. John's Wood High Street is at the heart of the local community. Even the street has been converted into a one-way street just to increase the foot traffic. And you can find your local butchers, to fishmongers, your local grocers to your cafes. And it's all here on the high street and also on Circus Road as well. For coffees, cakes, and of course gelato, make sure you head over to Unico because they follow their family tradition all the way from Italy. Now, the two owners, Roberto and Gianfranco, are massive gelato lovers. And of course, if you don't want to pop out and get yourself some gelato, then make sure you head over to the website to get a delivery. Uh, 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 
So let's focus on some of the residential aspects of this area and we'll kick off some of the stats that come from our proud sponsor for this video, the Property Purchaser. So these are effective as of February 2021. So in NWA, there are a total of 149 streets and there are over 1,800 houses and over 15,000 flats or apartments. And in the last 12 months alone, we've had over 200 sales. Now the average household income in the area stands at over 91,000 per, per house. And if you're looking for the average pound per square foot, this is going to run you up 1096 per square foot. So that's 1096 average per square foot in the area. Now, if you're looking for the average property price, this is gonna stand at 1.247 million. And that brings the total area values of the properties, if you combine all of them together, to 21 billion pounds. And if you're looking for the most expensive street in the area, this stands at Cavendish Close, which is over 11.6 million pounds. And for transport links, you have St. John's Wood Station, which is served by the Jubilee Line, and that benefits from the weekend night tube. And then you also have many bus routes that take you into central London and north and northwest London. And then you also have the road links, which give you easy access to central London, north London, and also the M1. So let's briefly cover three schools and start off with the American School in London, which is just behind me on Waverley Place. This is a state of the art school, which has received in its most recent Ofsted inspection an outstanding rating. And now we're headed on to Marlborough Hill, where you have both a primary school and a secondary school. So for the secondary, it's the Harris Academy for pupils in year seven to year 11. And then they also have a sixth form as well. And this is a mixed school. And for the primary school, George Elliott, this is for mixed pupils aged between nursery and year six, and has also received a good Ofsted inspection rating. And we are at the end of the episode where we've just seen both Maidervale and St. John's Wood. These are two unique areas which both have something unique to offer, but there are also a lot of similarities as well. Let us know in the comments section below which is your favourite area between the two. And also, don't forget the development opportunity, which has three outdoor spaces and is a three-bedroom penthouse on Maidervale. And a proud thank you to our sponsor, The Property Purchaser, so these stats have been provided to make sure you make an informed decision when purchasing a property. So make sure you check out the team at Property Purchaser and chat to Tywo. Other than that, as always, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.